DIY designer. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm really excited about today's episode because I'm doing sweatshirt hacks. Our denim hacks episode was a big hit. Everyone really loved it. So I'm going to do sweatshirt hacks today, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm actually going to divide them into three short little episodes. And the first hack that we're going to do is the one-sided cold shoulder sweatshirt. I saw this photo right here. It's a really cool brand called LNA and they post it on their Instagram and I loved it. I just love how the one shoulder peeks out. I think it makes it really sexy and it elevates a sweatshirt. This is something you could totally wear as it's meant to be, like maybe going, working out, running errands, but you could easily dress this up and wear this out to dinner or to brunch or to the beach or to anything. It's super cool. Let's get started with number one. And by the way, this is materials for the whole week. Alrighty, so the very first thing we're going to do is cut our sweatshirt. I want to do this hoodie version, so I have two hoodie sweatshirts because I want to try both um, colors because I love it and I'm going to wear them both. So let's get to cutting. All right, so here's our sweatshirt. Now this is the center. You want to find the center point of your sweatshirt and you want to come over just a little bit. You don't want to cut all the way to the middle. So I'm going to go to right about here and we just want to open this up and as long as your scissors are really sharp, you should kind of be able to squeeze them in there and snip. Right? So that's going to be my starting point. Now I'm going to cut from here all the way around to right about the middle of the back. So this naturally is going to slouch down a little bit, but I want to do it even more. So what I'm going to do is starting here, I'm going to cut out scooping it out just a little more so we really get that cold shoulder look. So I'm going to start with my fabric folded in half, start together that way I have an even starting point and then I'm going to cut one layer at a time because as you can see they're not even. So if I just went like this it wouldn't necessarily cut them evenly. So you want to go like this to the same point and then across the back. So start together, now go single layer and just eyeball where you're going and your scissors will naturally go to that point. Anytime you're cutting, that's kind of the case. Okay, now I wanna scoop it around to the back. So again, look at where you're going, not where your scissors currently are. Look at your end point. That is it, literally. Now you just put it on, it looks soups cute. Soups cute, tats maggots. I'll try it on and show you, but I'm gonna do the black version. It's a slightly different neckline, so you can watch. I'll do the same version, but you'll see it's gonna come out just as cute and it's just as easy. I mean, that's it. That is it for this particular hack. It's super easy. And like I said, you can do it on a crew neck sweatshirt if you want. Just do the same thing, kind of go right off centered and then scoop it out just a little bit. You can always cut more. So when you cut it away, try it on and see how much of a drop you need before you cut a huge chunk out. You can always cut more, so err on the side of caution. I'm gonna go try these on and model them and see how they look, but thank you for watching this one. Let me know how you like the slightly shorter format. I'm gonna be releasing the next episode in this little sweatshirt series, so make sure to come right back here to check out the short sleeve distressed sweatshirt. It is super cute and I can't wait for you guys to see it. All right, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys.